we probably get uh, three to five submissions a week, 52 weeks of the year. It's amazing, actually. It's very hard to keep up with. It's very hard to maintain a uh, commitment of when you're going to get back to people when they keep tumbling in, because it's a lot of reading. My own view is if somebody's taking the time to sit down and write a book and then send you a sample, I think it's, uh, it behooves us to actually spend a little time looking at the sample and making sure we're being fair in our assessment because it's pretty cut and dried. I mean, if we say we're not publishing it, that's kind of catastrophic news for somebody who spent three years working on something. So, so we, take, we take that the process uh, really seriously. And, uh, and, and we get a ton of manuscripts, so it's a big time-consuming thing. We start with a kind of nebulous conversation about, uh, is, is this a Cotto book? Which means, is it something that's kind of consistent with our values, both expressed and just the way we feel about what we do? We're a regional publisher, we like to represent regional writers as much as we can. Uh, we try and stick to um, literary fiction, poetry, and uh, young adult. Uh, every now and again, something that comes in that's really, uh, really astonishing, but it's it's a bit off what we what we normally publish, and it, it's it's uh, that foments a discussion because part of uh, the the issue is that we've developed expertise over time in marketing uh, the genres that we do publish. And we sometimes get a hold of a book. We think, no, this is a, this is going to make a great book, but I don't know if we're the group to give it the kind of marketing it needs. It needs, you know, it needs to be in a different realm than we work. That could be cooking or uh, you know, natural science or astronomy or something. Uh, just we do we don't work in that realm all the time, so we don't have the contacts and things like that. So that's part of it. And then there's the, the uh, literary merit of the book. I mean, is it well written? Uh, what kind of editing does it need? Those are all things that go into it. To license the rights of a book, uh, what that means is that when we sign a contract with an author, we sign a contract for the English language rights. So um, a book could also be published in a different language and, uh, and in a different jurisdiction, in a different country. And uh, those usually means if the, bo if the manuscript is going to travel across borders to be published over there, somebody usually has to buy the rights for it to do it. And so we sell those rights when, when uh, the opportunity comes up. And that's money that we split with the uh, author. I mean, it's, it's negotiated what the split is, but it's shared. It gives the, um, the uh, right to produce the book to a, a printer or publisher in a different jurisdiction. I think that you know everything that comes uh, through the door is, is a potential astonishing book. And uh, every now and again one is all the way through an astonishing book. And that's really exciting. That's, uh, that's really exciting to come across a, a manuscript like that. Uh, as well, um, I get excited uh, as we near the end of production. Uh, my career started uh, in the production end of uh, the printing arts, and uh, I still I still get a, a big thrill out of being in a printing press. I mean, there's nothing like it. It's a great cataclysm of noise and uh, roaring and screaming. And uh, at the end of it, there's there's a pile of books on the floor. It's just fantastic.